Last meeting, we discussed about conic sections. So we identify them as circle, ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. And then we focus on circle. So how can we uh, identify the equation in standard form of a circle if the given is the center and the radius? So today we're going to discuss how uh, the general form of a circle and how to transform general form of a circle to standard form and vice versa. So last meeting we discussed or we know that uh, the standard form of a circle or standard form of a circle is x minus h square plus y minus a square equals r square. So this is the standard form of a circle and then if you are talking about the general form, so I will uh, show you the derivation of uh, the standard form. Uh, you can refer to other sources on how to deriva derive the general form of a circle. But for the general form, so that is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus dy plus f equals 0. So this is the general form of a circle. So our goal today is uh, to know how to, general, uh, to transform an equation from general form to standard and standard form to general form. So let's have an example. So the general form, the given equation is 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4x plus 24y plus 1 equals 0. So here, uh, x and y are still coefficients, which is 4. So to remove 4, since they have the same coefficient, which is 4, we can divide all terms by 4. So first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. Actually, we can also divide uh, 0 by 4. If it has a value, so we should divide this by 4. Yun nga lang, uh, since 0, ang numerator niya, so the answer is here, 0. So let's put 4 each term. So 4 x squared divided by, divided by 4. So makakakal ang 4. So that is x squared. And then another answer, 4 over 4. So magkita na is y squared. And then negative 4 divided by 4 is negative. x na lang ang And then 24 over 4 is 6. And then that will be y. And then for the last term, since we cannot divide 1 fourth, so we will just copy 1 fourth. So for 0, that is 0 over 4. So that is also 0. So here, this is already the general form. x squared plus y squared minus d, uh, plus dx. So the value of d is negative 1. Plus 6 uh, Plus EY, the value of E is positive 6. 
plus f, the value of f, f is 1 fourth is equal to 0. So this is already the general form. So after dividing all by 4, so now we have to move x squared plus y squared minus x plus 6y plus 1 fourth equals 0. So we have to move the equation So after dividing by 4, to be in the general form, we will group uh, using variables. So, for example, we have x squared here and minus x here. So, kailangan magkatabi lang sila. So, pagkatabi lang natin yung may variable yung x and yung may variable na y. So, pag pinagsabi natin yan, so, we have x squared and time plus y squared minus x plus x y plus one fourth. So, pagsamahin natin si x and minus x. Magiging x squared minus x. And then si y squared, pagsamahin natin y squared plus six y. So, saka si six y. So, okay na to, okay na to. And then plus so, dito, i-direct na natin, yung constant should be at the right hand side. So, from positive 1 fourth, it will become negative 1 fourth. Kung mapapansin nyo, si negative x, nilipat natin ang presto, pero hindi nagbago yung negative niya. Bakit? Kasi hindi naman siya tumawid ng equal sign. Dito, si negative, si positive 1 fourth, nilipat siya naman yung side ng equal sign, kaya siya naging negative 1 fourth. Dito, kahit pagpalit-palitin natin sila, uh, the sign will not be changed. So, ayun. So, nag-group na natin si x squared minus x and then si y squared plus 6y. And then, we already uh, transpose. So, the correct term is addition property of equality and using property of equality. We remove one word here and move to the right hand side. So, ayan. Balik tayo dito. x squared minus x. So, complete the square of the x terms. So, gagawin natin itong perfect square. So, x squared minus x. Gagawin natin perfect square trinomial. Paano natin gagawin yun? Tignan nyo lang yung second term. Pati ito, gagawin natin perfect square trinomial. So, check nyo lang rin yung second term. So, second term, second term. So, dito, Ang coefficient, kung nung katabi ni x, ay wala, hindi na makikita. So, pag hindi na makikita, that is 1. So, meron ang katabi na, meron katabi si x na 1. Regardless of uh, operation, 1 minus ba yan or plus yan, basta 1 ang katabi niya. And then, i-divide natin si 1 by 2. Same din dito sa kabila. So, si 6, nakatabi ni y, or the coefficient of y is 6. So, si 6, i-divide natin by 2. And then, i square natin ito, i square natin ito. So, ang sagot dito ay, 1 divide mo, 1 multiply by 1 is 1, and then 2 multiply by 2 is 4. So, 4x, 1 4. Dito naman, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and then 3 squared is 9. So, 4x, dito sa x, nakuha natin is 1 4. Sa y, ang nakuha natin is 9. So, ano ang gagawin natin kay 1 4 at kay 9? So, i-add lang natin nila. x squared minus x plus 1 4. So, doon natin siya inilagay. And then, So, nakalimutan natin dito na uh, plus pala ito. Okay. Plus, kopihin lang rin ulit natin ito si y squared plus 6y. So, yung makilangin natin, kaya itagdag natin yung plus 9. So, 
We had 91 port and 9 new sleep completing the square method. Correction again, ganyan. And then equals negative 1 port. Since we add 1 port here and we add 9 here, to make the equation balance, so we should also add 1 port here and 9. So, yeah, so negative 1 port, since we add uh, we added 1 port here and we added 9 here, so we should also add 1 port and 9 on the right hand side to make the equation balance. Next, uh, factor out uh, the first expression, x. So, paano nyo yung ipapactor out? So, hindi nyo na kailangan gumamit ng napakahabang method or factoring method. So, ang gawin nyo na lang, open yung first two term. Ayun pala. Open yung new variable na x. So, since we use x, and that is just x here. So, open yun lang yung variable x. And then, yung kanina, minus, x minus, yung kanina, meron tayo yung 2, 1, i-divide natin by 2. Tama? So, yun lang. Open yun lang yung x minus 1, half. So, yun na yun. Yan lagay yun ang open post parenthesis, square. And then, plus, so again, dito naman tayo kay y. So, pwede lang natin si y. Pwede natin yung open close parenthesis. Plus, there. So, since kami natin 6, i-divide natin by 2. At ang nakuha natin ay, hindi naman natin ilalagay na plus 6 over 2 yan. So, 6 over 2, ang nakuha natin sa dito na yan is 3. Positive 3. So, that is plus 3. And then, again lang natin siya ng square. So, next, negative 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. So, we can cancel negative 1 fourth and positive 1 fourth. So, ang magiging kanya lang is 1. So, this will, uh, this will be our answer. So, from general form to standard form. Or, we can say that square root of 9 square root of 9 is 3 square so x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square so that's a standard form na tayo so bakit kailangan malaman how to transform general form to standard form to easily identify the center and the radius of the given equation if the equation is a uh, circle so here we can say that the center is one half and negative three so this is the center and then the radius is r is equal to three so that is an example of equation, transforming equation of its circle from general form to standard form. Another example, from standard form to general form naman. From standard form to general form. So this is the reverse process. But we will use another example. So, ang standard form natin is x plus 5 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals 4. So, x plus 5 squared plus y minus 6 squared is equal to 4. So, here we will just uh, expand x plus 5 square. So, we will multiply x plus 5 multiplied by 5 x plus 5. So, clarification, x plus 5 square is not equal to x square plus 5 square. So, mali yan. So, ito yung common mistakes ng mga uh, students. x plus 5 square is not equal to x squared plus 5 squared. 
Receive it nila. So, mano yun. So, the correct process is, so, para mas maalala nyo yung process, uh, for example, 2 squared, so that is 2 multiplied by 2. x squared, so that is x multiplied by x. x plus 1 squared, so it means that is x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. So, in our example, we're going to find the product or the square of x plus 5. So, x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 5. Plus, so same here with y minus 6 multiplied by y minus 6. And then equals 4. Since this is a product of binomial, we can use FOIL method. So, FOIL method first multiply by first. First term multiply by first term. So that is x multiply by x. So that is x squared. Then x first, yeah, ano tayo? Uh, FOIL out, outer, x multiply by 5 is positive 5 x. And the inner part, 5 and x, 5 multiplied by x is plus 5x. And then last, so last part multiplied by last term, so 5 multiplied by 5 is positive 25. So this is for x. And then plus, first term multiplied by first term is y multiplied by 1 or y squared and then outer multiplied by outer term is y multiplied by negative 6 is negative and then negative y and then negative 6 y and the inner term multiplied by inner term, negative 6 multiplied by y is negative 6y. And then last term multiplied by last term, so negative 6 multiplied by negative 6 is positive 36, then equals 4. So this is the product of y minus 6 and y minus 6. So next, simplify each expression. So let's start with the uh, so set ng x. So we can combine, so let's start with x here. We can combine 5x and 5x, so that is the positive 10x, and then plus 25. And then for the set of y, so we just write y squared, negative 6y minus 6y is negative 12 y and then the constant is positive 36 equals 4 next simplify ulit we can combine like terms but this time ipapalo na natin yung uh, general form yung x squared plus y squared plus b x plus e y plus f equals 0. So, ipaparoon na ito. So, una, let's write x squared. Then, ito yun. y squared, ito yun. So, plus y squared. And then, plus 10x. So, ito yung dx. The value of d is 10. And then, yung ty. So, ito yung 10x. Minus 12y. So, in EY, and then the constant, since we have 25 and 36 here, we can still combine the constant. So, if we add 25 and 36, that is 61. So, positive 61 equals 4. So, continue na lang. So, kailangan, uh, 0 yung nasa right hand side. So, we will transpose 4 to the left hand side. So, copy na lang natin to x squared plus y squared 
plus 10x minus 12y. And then plus 61, since the uh, lambda function is an equal sign, from positive 4 it will become negative 4 equals 0. And we can simplify this, 61 minus 4 is 50, 57. So the final answer from standard form, but to my final answer, since na ang tayo sa form nito. So x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 12y plus 57 equals 0. So that is how to transform uh, an equation of a circle from standard form to general form. So additional uh, topic, additional topic, how to graph a given equation. For example, we have x plus 4 square plus y minus 6 square equals 1. So if the given is in general form, you have to translate it first to standard form para mas magaling makita yung center. So in this equation of a circle, the center is negative 4 and positive 6. So in this equation, the center is negative 4 and positive 6, and then the radius is 1. So, with this given information, we can easily graph a circle to uh, the Cartesian plane. So since uh, the, or the ordered pair is negative and positive, it can be found in second quadrant. So yan pa sa isa lang natin sa paggawa ng graph ng plane ang second quadrant. So first, second, third, and fourth quadrant. So since nandito tayo sa second quadrant, hindi tayo mag-focus. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So ang center natin is negative four, six. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So ang center is so this is the center and then the radius is 1 so from negative 4 from negative 4 so we will have to have a negative 3 and then the radius down to negative 4 we will have to have a negative 5 and then here on the top negative 7 we will have to have a negative 7 and then we will have to have a negative 5 and now we can draw the circle. So this is the graph of x plus 4 square plus quantity y minus 6 square equals 1. Vice versa, what if the given is the graph and you have to identify the equation? For example, we have the center at the origin and then 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 and the circle is 2 units to the circle so in this figure you have to identify the center so of course the center is found in the origin so it means that is 0, 0 and then the radius this from center to one point in a circle is two units, so it means the radius is two. So the radius is two. So just copy the standard form x minus h squared plus y minus t squared equals r squared. So that is the standard form of a circle. So we just substitute uh, h and k or the center to the value of h and k. So it will become x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals. So the value of r is 2, 
So that is 2 square. So since x minus 0, so we can write this as x square, simply as x square. And then for y, so that is y square. Equals 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, or simply 2 square. Or so x squared plus y squared equals 4. So to my new equation of this graph. Another example. What if the given is center is not found in the origin? So for example, the center can be found in the fourth quadrant. One, two. One, two, three, and then the center is So this is 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So in this graph, the center is 1 and negative 2. And then the radius is from the center up to the last for 1 foot of the semicolon, so that is 1 unit. So the radius is 1. So from the given Center and they use again just copy the standard form of this detail x uh, x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square. Again substitute the value of h and k for x and y. x minus 1 square plus y since minus k and negative 2 it will become plus. 2 and square equals then our radius is 1 so that is 1 square or simply 1. So this is the equation of the given figure. So that is all for the circle. Next topic we will discuss parabola.